Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. In previous video, we have already seen the introduction to placement stage in which we briefly saw about what are the different strategies to be used in the placement. Then we discussed about placement and optimization in detail. Today we will learn more about cell density of the standard cells. This is our VLSI spectrum. If you have seen our previous video also in the series, then you must be aware of how we discussed it in the detail. These are inputs needed for starting the placement. And before starting the placement, these are the checkpoints which we have already discussed point by point in detail with example in the previous videos if you have any doubt we recommend strongly that you watch previous videos and link of that full series is provided in the description below this was just a quick review and now let us get started with our today's topic the tool determines the location of each of the standard cells in the core various factors comes into play like the timing requirement of the system interconnect length and hence the connection between the cells and the power dissipation etc in order to meet this timing in this design what happens is tool will try to place the cells as close as possible and hence sometimes tool place them as much nearer as possible which leads to higher density as you can see here in this case. This is what tool has done in order to meet the timing. So in this case you can see that cells are very closely packed to each other and it could lead to higher cell density. Now the question is what happens if the cell density is very high. So if your cell density is high then what happens is that you will face routability issues. Routability issues which means that when the cells are very closely packed tool will not be able to access the pin and it will lead to shorts and that is why it is not good that you have a higher cell density in the design. Cell density if it is high sometimes you can see that your timing is good but that good timing is not actually uh, good for your design because it is anyway waste as you can see that there is a shorts in the design. So even if the shorts are there that timing is actually uh, not good. So that timing aware design sometimes leads to higher cell density. You can say like that. Let us go one slide back and try to understand how tool calculates this cell density. So what tool will do is tool will divide the entire core area into different G cells and while doing the placement in each G cell it will try to calculate the required clumping density that it would have taken. So let us say that if you have a clumping density of 70% that means that in each cell so let us say this is one cell and in each cell the cell density should not cross more than 0.7 or 70%. So if your clumping density in particular cell is let's say 70% you have max clumping density you have set as 70% or you can set as 0.7. So it is actually a ratio of the area of the standard cell in the particular cell. So max 70% of the area it can take and let's say in each cell if it has taken around 70% then it is fine. But if the, if it is more than that then it will flag it as yellow or dark yellow color or it will try to create a heat map for that. So if it is dark yellow or something that is for let's say it is trying to map like this. Like if it is greater than 0 0.7 then you make it as dark yellow and if it is more than or you can say around 1 then it will make it as red that means it has max, maximum utilization of that particular cell is done. So let's say in this case, let's say this particular cell is around 80% occupied. So it will go in 0.7 area. And in some cases, if it is more than even that or some overlaps are there. So that, that overlap actually signifies that you have taken more area than particular uh, G cell. So if that happens that means that you are facing the overlaps in the design and that heat map, heat map is actually presented in the map format in the tool. So if you load your heat map it would look something like this. If you see here it, there are two maps that we have shown here. So first map if you see so here it is da most of the cells are in this range that is your 0 0.8 range and that in this case let's say the clumping density is 0 0.7 max clumping density that we have set. So that is why it is saying that it is almost reaching your target and in some cases it is more than that but it is not overlapping and that is why you do not have any one in your ratio. So if you have one that means let's say this is one G cell and in this G cell 
all of this area is occupied the stand by the standard cells so let's say in this case if it is one two three four so this is let's say 12 cells are already present that means it is entirely packed and your number of cells present area of the cells that are present in this cell divided by this area of this particular g cell that is equivalent so that is why it is one and it is reaching or uh, you can say it is reaching the 100 percent utilization but let's say if you have one more cell present like this so that means that is an additional cell and then it would be like the, the 13 cells are there in the design and it is overlapping and your area is in fact more than the area of the g cell and that is why you will have 1.1 or something more than that range so in this case you can clearly see that there are no overlaps visually you can see like this in this particular case and when you spread these cells out in this particular case you can see that most of the cells are in this range that is your 0 0.7 and that is meeting the target not more than that so that is why you are seeing lesser density and heat map is showing more green color in fact here it is showing more red color because it is zero reaching most of the cells in the 0 0.8 range and here it is reaching 0 0.7 range which is our target clumping density in this example so the conclusion is if you have high cell density packing or if you have a lot of cells closely packed in one area that is high cell density it can lead to it might not be necessary but it can lead to routing congestion so if you want to avoid that then you have to spread the cells out like this and spreading will reduce that clumping density ratio and hence your routing congestion will be improving and hence you will have lesser number of shorts or otherwise if you have high cell density then it you have then you may face shorts in your design we hope we are able to convey the cell density concept to you if you have any questions please do let us know that is all for this video and we will come up with more concepts in further videos please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you